By the end of this video, you will be able to add accessories to your NPCs in Roblox Studio. You will be able to take a non-player character, something like the middle dummy here, and you'll be able to add any accessory that you like so that looks something like the dummy on the right here. Let's get started. So I'm assuming that you already have a dummy or a rig in your game and it looks probably something like this or any, uh, maybe it's an R6 model instead. If you do not have a rig in your game yet, I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. In order to add an accessory to this NPC, what you need to do is use the script that I have in the command bar. If you do not have your command bar up, what you can do is go up to view and then there's a small tab here for command bar. You can see it's view command bar. And so you would just click that and it would show the bottom command bar here. If you need to move your command bar from the bottom, you just grab the dots here on the left and then you can just drag it to anywhere on the screen. So I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle so you can see it. Once you have the command bar up, you're going to want to type this script into your command bar so that you can add an accessory to your NPC. So the script is game colon get service parentheses quotes insert service then end parentheses colon load asset parentheses and then right there in the, that parentheses that's where we're going to put the asset ID number colon parent equals game dot workspace and again you want to make sure you check your capitalizations and everything when you're typing that script too many times it'll auto complete for you so once you start uh, typing you'll be able to see it auto complete for you so now we need to find an asset to put on this rig and to do that you want to go to roblox.com and then you want to click on avatar shop and once you're in the avatar shop you can pick any asset here it could be a shirt or a hair or anything for any part of the avatar i'm going to go ahead and click this black to red fluffy and so once that pulls up, you're going to see on the top address bar, right after the word catalog, there's a number and you're going to, want to copy that number. So control C. So I can copy that number. That's the asset ID. Now we're going to go back to Roblox studio and right there after the word load asset, I'm going to paste that number. All right. So now I have that number in there and I'm going to press enter. Once you press enter, you're going to notice on the Explorer tab on the right hand side, it will have added a model to your workspace. So you want to make sure you rename uh, different models so that you can keep track of what you're doing. So maybe I'd want to rename this one red hair and then enter. So now what that did is brought the accessory into your game. So we need to do one thing before we add this accessory to our NPC. You're going to right click on it and then you're going to ungroup the model so that you can click through it and get to handle. Once you click on handle on the bottom right hand side, you're going to see there is a space for data and locked. You want to make sure that that is off. So right now this one's off. So that one's okay. If it's on, it might not work the way you want it to. So make sure you turn that off. Now that I have that off, all I need to do is take that and then drag it into my rig. And so you can see it knew exactly where to place that hair on the rig. And right now I have it selected. And with that accessory selected, you can change anything you want on the rig. So let's say I go up to home and I want to maybe move that around a little bit, maybe move to the right or the left, depending. Let's say that looks good. And then I would just click out of there. And now you'll notice when I select the rig, the hair moves with the rig. So I was able to add the hair to the rig. And that's how you can double check by moving the NPC around. You'll notice if I go back to the mesh part accessory here, and you can change that name to maybe red hair or something. Um, if I move this, let's say I move it over here and then I click on the NPC, it will move the same way with the NPC. So if you want to undo anything, just control Z that will undo your last action. So we have some hair added to this NPC. So if you want to add any other accessory to your rig, you would just go back to roblox.com and then go to the avatar shop and you can check out any of these. They have uh, different accessories here on the left-hand side. You can go through the clothing, t-shirts, shirts, sweaters and accessories. I found another shirt that I like. So you want to make sure if you're having any problems with the placement of your accessory on your NPC, make sure you see what kind of type it is. So right here it says t-shirts. And so when I copy and paste this asset ID number into my game now, I'm going to go back and same thing, just paste it right there into the script we have, press enter. It will add it to the right hand side of the screen. Again, you can find it. If you select it and press F, you can find it in your workspace. So once I have that model, again, you're going to ungroup and then you're going to find that handle. Once you have the handle, make sure that that handle is not locked. It is not. And then you just drag that right into your rig. And again, so there now we have the shirt. Now, if for any reason that shirt is not showing correctly, you might need to drag that part into maybe the upper torso or any other part of the avatar and to make sure that it's in the right place. 
One quick note, I would not recommend using any of the accessories in the toolbox. Sometimes they come with scripts and sometimes they don't place correctly on your avatar. That's just one thing to keep in mind. I would start from scratch with any avatar that you're using. So in order to add an avatar, a blank avatar to your game, what you would need to do is go up to avatar and then you're gonna click on rig builder. And then you can say whether you want an R15 or an R6 rig, uh, masculine or feminine. And then you can click on whatever type you would like. I'm gonna do another black block avatar. So there we go. So now I have another rig. And again, to move, you just go to home and then move and then I can rotate. So there we go. So now we have another blank avatar that we can work with and add any accessories that we would like to this avatar. I would recommend starting with a blank avatar that you use with the rig builder so that it everything works correctly and you don't have any scripts that are messing up anything. One way to test to see if this worked correctly is you can go ahead and play your game. And then once you spawn, you'll be able to see if your non-player characters are showing the accessories that you added or not. So there I spawned, there are my two rigs that I added, and you can see they have the accessories that I added to them. So you now know how to add accessories to a non-player character in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below, I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available, I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.